Washington Smithsonian Institution has a new high-tech interactive exhibit that's wowing the younger museum crowd. As Lee Cowan reports, it's part game, part movie, and all educational. At the most visited museum in the world, suddenly learning is all about scoring. 10,000 something. I scored somewhere in the 10,000. It was about 90,000 something. I don't know. In an age where some 30 million kids spend more time with buttons than blackboards, museums are struggling to find ways to keep kids interested. This is the Smithsonian's $2 million answer. This is like a big video game, so big that you're inside of it and you're, you're part of it. Your mission is to find The out secret? Interaction. Giving kids a choice about what to learn and when, and combine it with a little competition. Its inventor calls the concept... Goovies. Part game, part movie. It's part game because the audience scores points. It's part movie because the audience's score changes the plot. You don't just like sit back and watch it, you pretty much... You pretty much do it. They say, wow, I didn't know that. I want to learn more about that. You hook them. We've succeeded. Right, you hook them. And with digital graphics, a 43-foot wraparound screen, and a booming surround sound system, hooking them is pretty easy. It was much better than any video game I've ever played. Really? Really. I don't feel so good. At the audience's fingertips is the life of a sick astronaut infected by a mysterious disease which microscopic robots have to find and then kill. And off we go into her stomach. We're going into her stomach. We're going into her stomach. All right. <laughs> it's as anatomically accurate as it is graphic, which means it isn't always pretty. Oh, uh, that's kind of gross. You know that's how some of it looks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It can even be stressful. Well, I was shaking the whole time. You were shaking the whole time? How come? I thought that I wasn't going to help the person, and, like, I'd be afraid. But if it gets too much, the audience can simply change course. By touching that multiple times, I'm registering. But you're voting. Sort of. You're voting. You're saying, I want this. For 10-year-old Dana Smith, this was more than just a game. Okay, I'm going to go to the liver. It was about real life. Really she spends uh, quite a bit of time at the doctor. She has sickle cell anemia. Like some 72,000 other Americans, the painful disorder affects her blood cells. On this day, she got a close look at what healthy cells should look like and a host of other inside views, including one she hadn't bargained for. Do you think you learned anything out of it? A baby is not that pretty when it's born. Am I doing it right? Despite that, she still wants to be a doctor, which is exceptionally good news for the rest of society, since not everyone picks it up quite so easily. Got to work on it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not fair. You've practiced. <laughs> you made this up. It's not fair. I'm at a severe disadvantage. Concentrate, concentrate. There you go. Now you got it. Not quite. I know you did your best. <laughs> I killed her? Oh, you killed her. <laughs> I killed her? I killed her. Wait a minute. At least here, a happy ending is as easy as trying again. For The Early Show, Lee Cowan, CBS News, Washington.